But JR and Gabe were the bottom two from this challenge. And that meant they were up for being voted as the guesser and the guess off. So now before the guess off, <laughs> Gabriel was saying that if he was voted as the guesser, he would vote for JR. And then Monet got the majority of the clues, but the most crucial ones are Gabe's and Chris's, right? So the only one that she and the other people in the house have zoned in on, and it's like, this has turned from claim to fame to operation get Chris out this house. <laughs> literally, no, literally, it's operation get Chris out. Yeah, <laughs> no yeah. Means by no means necessary. It's like, right, it's like Chris they are, whoever they got a sacrifice <laughs> to get this man out of the house. Like they mm -hmm. are just like, anything, anybody is up for grabs, get him out. <laughs> But, you know, the crazy thing is, I honestly feel like he's going to end up being the last one standing because they cannot figure it out. But anyway, we'll get back to that. So none of them watched Dancing with the Stars, so they could not figure out. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, their plan was to have Jr. guest Billy Idol. Jr. was on the, he was almost leading the bandwagon for Billy Idol. Like, he almost was like, like, it needs to happen. Like, almost like he was certain, even though that was the... The least certain one you know that right. was the up in the air one but it was like he was so certain but I think it goes back to the witch hunt you know what I mean the the, yeah. the getting Chris out it's like he needs to be out you know like we we need to do this and it's just I think but, I think it needed to happen though you know but he guessed that Carson's relative was he, he even said Dale mm -hmm. Earnhardt Jr but because he wasn't 100 percent sure somewhere in his mind was like yeah Billy Idol's the better choice but again right. it goes back to we got to get Chris out of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, Monet told JR Gabe's clue and JR, the way that he works, my nerves sitting there saying, nah, I still could be a football player. Like, sir. Literally. <laughs> like, remember when he had the opportunity to pull his clue and he goes, no, I didn't need to do that. I already know who he is. I, I was, I was cheering though, because I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm team Gabe. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm rooting for him, but like, that's how I felt. I was screaming. Like, I was like, and not in a good way. I was like, JR, like, all you had to do was pull it. Just, just confirm, just confirm <laughs> your, your suspicions. That's it. As you know, I think JR is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but, and she did mention at some point, she said Nick Cannon, but JR stood his ground and was like, no, it is still, it could still be a football player. What did you, did you kind of get that it could still be a football player or were you on the Nick Cannon train? with it I was more on the Nick Cannon train but this goes all the way back a few a few episodes just because I had already gotten off the whole athlete train just as a whole <laughs> back when they had done the challenge when they were walking around blindfolded and touching the statues and Gabe was freaking out over the burger and I was like there's only one burger that I can think of and that's good burger. Home of the good burger. Can I take your order? So <laughs> I immediately, I'm like, is he Kel Mitchell's relative? Because he kind of looks like him. They kind of favor each other a little bit. Um, so I already was kind of in that realm of Nickelodeon. But who knew it was Nick, Nick, Nickelodeon? You know what I mean? Like, right. Mr. <laughs> you know, to us kids, we was like, oh, is he the CEO? Is he the president of Nickelodeon? You know? <laughs> so I was already kind of over there but I was shocked my eyebrows are still raised same as yours just because of how quickly JR still dismissed it it was the fact that they brought it back to all that and that should have been just you know 90s kid you know anyone that knows that realm of Keenan Kel uh Nick Cannon uh all that just any of any of those yeah any of the the people they should have known that that's that's in there so I think Monet is really that, that's where that, that last challenge is really continuing to shine because she knows her trivia. She knows her pop culture for sure. She does. But I will say for JR, because, you know, his foot is in the boot. So maybe there's some, he's on some pain pills or something. So maybe he just can't fully connect the dots, but that's okay. We understand. But I feel like Monet is the power player now because she won that challenge. And then she's been like the clue collector, but she still hung up on Chris. Which makes me wonder if next episode, because she is warming up to who Gabe's relative is, will she just like stand in it and be like, Nick Cannon? Because I think she's gonna, like she's already there, but is she gonna continue to like think about it and be like, okay, 
let me review the clues again. Let me go through all this. Let me ignore what JR said, because he ain't here. And let me just really like go in guns blazing and say, hey, Nick Cannon, and, and fully be there. Do you, I don't know. Do you think she will? I, I feel like if she focuses, she will. I think she needs one more indication or one more little treat, one more little clue that will kind of solidify it in her brain. Whatever that they have, the little clues or the indication, the the kind of sugar that they were getting from guessing Chris's people, that the the confidence, you know, that was solidifying it for him, they need that. She needs that for Gabe, for sure. I really hope that next episode we do see her just, you know, if, even if it is, she needs that one more thing to solidify it. I hope she just says it, even though I'm still hoping that Gabe is, is the one of the last two standing, but we'll see. Yeah. You know, it'd be interesting if she shows it to Carson, because if she shows it to Carson, I think just from seeing the last challenge, Carson knows her trivia. She knows her pop culture. She knows Nick Cannon. I know she does. She has yeah. to. She, she does. has to. Because I think that's why even Monet even showed it to JR, because JR knows Nick Cannon. JR's just, whew, you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, it was just going one ear out the other. He was not hearing that it. That 800 milligram ibuprofen. He's like, I'm just feeling good in my boot. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So it just, it, it all depends. That's what I'm saying. The next, next episode is key. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited too. I'm excited. Let us know what you guys think in the, in the comments. If you think that Monet is going to finally put the pieces together and, and want to be the guesser and go in, or if she's going to drop it in, maybe she's going to drop it in Chris's lap and see if he takes the bait and runs with it. He might, you know what? And he probably won't because he's not going to trust her. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to go off the cuff with something he thinks like, maybe he'll pull up that Jaleel Wyatt thing again and, and, and be totally wrong. Or he could go the athlete route because he's, he had no clue just looking at the clue. And I don't know. It's getting good. <laughs> it is. No, it is. It's it's crazy because it's coming down to the wire. And it's like, why? I need I need like five more episodes. I need something. You know what I mean? Like, not the plane of fame about to go away. So. <laughs> well, you know what? That is our time. And I want to thank you all for joining us for recapping Claim to Fame. Again, I'm Shamika from Check the Rhymes TV here for Hollywood Junket. And my lovely super fan co-host, Sade Moore, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I've had so much fun, truly. <laughs> and we'll, we'll catch you guys next time.